Hi there, this is Philip Anderson with Anderson Music Instruction and I'm a drum teacher. I do private lessons for individuals and today we're going to be talking about how to choke a cymbal and um, you'll hear this technique used a lot in uh, modern funk and rock drumming. Um, normally when you hit the cymbal you're going to let it sustain but we're going to talk about how to just get that crash sound and then immediately cause it to stop. So I'm excited, it'll be fun. Okay, so in order to get a choked sound from your crash cymbal while you're playing, something's going to have to stop the cymbal from reverberating. If you just hit your crash cymbal normally, it's going to continue to sustain for as long as the cymbal has some movement and energy on it. So when you choke the cymbal, you're just going to basically bypass that process and stop it short, kind of like this. Now you can let that sustain happen as long or as short as you want. This will give you some new sounds to experiment with in your playing. So if you'll watch here, this is probably the best technique to use as you're starting out with choking a cymbal. You're going to strike with your right hand, and then your left hand is going to be ready to actually stop the cymbal. Practice that a few times. Once it sounds the way you think it should, it's time to start implementing it into the structure of a beat. So let me just show you how that would look. Okay, putting it all together is going to take some practice, but as you persevere with it, you'll be able to get it down. Okay, so again, this is Philip Anderson with AndersonMusicInstruction.com, and we were talking today about how to choke your cymbal. And I know that as you implement that technique, you're going to be able to get the type of sound that you're looking for.